deep perineal, nerve entrapment, anterior tarsal, tunnel syndrome. The video was produced based on a literary work. I would like to express my gratitude to the authors, Michael Day, for their valuable contribution. Citation https colon slash slash www.orthobullets.com slash foot dash and dash ankle slash 7043 slash deep dash perineal dash nerve dash entrapment dot comma for more information. The article mentioned above is available for reading. Deep perineal nerve entrapment, also called anterior tarsal tunnel syndrome, is a rare compression neuropathy affecting the deep perineal nerve, most commonly at the fibro-osseous tunnel formed by the inferior extensor retinaculum. Diagnosis can be suspected clinically, with dorsal foot pain with radiation to the first web space and the positive tinnel sign over the DPN. Treatment is a trial of non-operative management with shoe modifications. Surgical anterior tarsal tunnel release is indicated in patients with persistent symptoms who fail non-operative management. Pathophysiology, site of compression, anterior leg, ankle, foot from 1 cm proximal to ankle joint, proximally to telonavicular, joint distally, position of compression, ankle inversion and plantar, flexion, when traumatic. Pathoanatomy, intrinsic impingement, dorsal osteophytes over tibiotalar or telonavicular joints, other bony deformity, pace cavus, post-fracture, ganglion cyst, tumor, tendonitis or hypertrophic muscle belly of, extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum, longus or tibialis, extrinsic impingement, tight laces or ski boots, high heels, induces plantar flexion, trauma, including recurrent ankle, instability. Anterior tarsal tunnel anatomy, borders, superficial, Inferior extensor retinaculum, deep, capsule of telonavicular joint, lateral, lateral malleolus, medial, medial malleolus. Contents of anterior tarsal tunnel, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus, tibialis anterior, peroneus tertius, deep perineal nerve, within tunnel division of, nerve between mixed, lateral, and sensory only, medial, occurs, dorsalis pedis artery and vein. Presentation. Symptoms. Dysesthesia and paresthesias, on dorsal foot, lateral hallux, medial second toe, and first web space are most common locations. Vague pain on dorsum of foot. Physical exam. Motor, weakness or atrophy of, extensor digitorum brevis. Sensory, decreased two-point discrimination provocative tests. Tinnel sign over course of DPN with possible radiation to first web space, exacerbation with plantar flexion and inversion, puts nerve on stretch, relief of symptoms with injection of lidocaine, DPN nerve block. Imaging. Radiographs. Recommended views. Lateral view of foot and ankle. Findings. Dorsal osteophytes. Sequelae of prior fracture. Caught to define bony anatomy of canal, MRI, best for evaluation of mass lesions. Treatment, non-operative, shoe modifications, indications, first line of treatment, techniques, NSAIDs, physiotherapy, if ankle instability contributing, injection, well-padded tongue on shoe, alternative lacing configurations, full-length rocker sole steel shank, night splint, to prevent natural tendency for ankle to assume plantar flexion, diuretic if chronic peripheral edema is implicated. Operative surgical release of DPN by releasing inferior extensor retinaculum and osteophyte ganglion resection, indications, failure of non-operative treatment, symptoms of ISD are a contraindication to release, outcomes 80% satisfactory. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.